All right, guys, give me 32 here, check it out. We're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack. This is where I do a lot of reloading, I do a lot of building, uh, and there's a big ass review table behind me. We're getting ready to do the AK 47 from the guys over there at uh, Palmetto State Armory. But before we start talking about this upcoming build series that I'm doing, uh, Callaway Ballistics, they support the channel. This is their uh, 300 Blackout uh, Subsonic. Actually, these are the 147 grains. Nine millimeter for use with your suppressor. So we're gonna be doing a big test with these guys uh, here in the next week or so, uh, incorporating my good friend, uh, uh, X-Ray. And we're also gonna do the 300 Blackout. Uh, secondly, the guys over there at RTS sent this thing out to me. This is their Mini Shield and Check this out, man. It's just like uh, something that you would see in the uh, good old days of uh, sword fighting. But anyway, what this does is it enables the user, all right, padded little structure here, strap here, handle here, to go ahead and provide some semblance of coverage while they're serving a warrant or doing something or engaging somebody doing whatever that they do to uh, require one of these things. So we'll do a review on this thing. I'm gonna shoot the hell out of it and see how it works. Okay, what are we talking about? I've got uh, a series that I did on the Econ Build series uh, where we took like the bare minimum to go ahead and put together four rifles. Then we took them out to the range and we shot them at certain targets to see what the differential was in the accuracy. Now, I have got the premium build series that we did, four identical rifles, utilizing some of the uh, premium stuff that you can buy, guys and hand guards, good triggers, uh, basically everything that I felt like was more of a higher level. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're doing that mid-level series. And what I did, I based that whole thing off of this rifle right here. Now this guy was called the High Speed Low Drag. This one has the premium barrel from the guys over there at uh, oh my God, Air Precision, not Air Precision, the other barrel company that they use, uh, Ballistic Advantage, which I'm gonna use right here, their military profile Ballistic Advantage. And we're gonna put the Magpul stock on here, BCM handguard, BCM hand, or <laughs> grip, handguard, just a general good old fashioned mil spec trigger made by ballistic, uh, no, the guys over there at BCM. Uh, we'll top it off with some type of optic. Ideally what I'd like to do is put the same optic on it to do a comparable uh, in accuracy. We're gonna do the same thing with those premium builds. But what I wanted to do is just kind of go through the individual parts that we're going to go ahead and do this. Now, guys, this didn't happen overnight. I bought every one of these little things that go on these rifles. All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to base it off of a uh, Palmer, not the Palmer, we're going to a Poverty Pony. We're going to do the Anderson Lower here. No, no big deal there. Um, you guys know that I absolutely love the Yankee Hill stuff, especially their uh, gas blocks as well as their, uh, this is the Phantom. I forgot to get my reading glasses when I went out to my car. Um, yeah, so anyway, love these guys here. Um, of course, it's a BCM based thing. You got a good sale down there at Big Daddy Unlimited on these things right here. This is that handguard that we just showed. Uh, I've previously had these sitting. This is an unassembled uh, uh, magnesium phosphate premium bolt carrier from the guys over at PSA. We're just gonna go with a standard mil spec uh, charging handle. And then we've got the Ballistic Advantage military profile. This is their nitride cover. Chrome Molly, uh, and what we'll do, we'll put one of together and we'll do a full review and I will scope the barrel so you can see it. Uh, let's see here. Um, buffer system from the guys over there at Luth AR, and then the parts kit uh, from Strike Industries because I feel like it's a little bit over above the uh, mil spec, but I love these things for the money. You're getting a lot of good products. So, anyway, um, that's it. I just wanted to introduce you to the new build series. Again, we've got a lot of cool things coming up, a lot of optics that have just come in from the guys over there, primary arms, and then uh, we'll go from there. But uh, we also have the ACSS reticle set up for the 6.5 Grendel. We'll take that out in the upcoming weeks. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything else like that, don't hesitate in asking. And it was just always in them like this. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. KB32, I'm out of here. Boom.